why is cybersecurity like borderline recession proof? <laughs> so I mean, that's that's a great question. So the thing about cybersecurity, like there are certain compliances, there's certain things by law companies have to follow. Like when you think about it, like let's really think about it. When you see people saying, "Oh, they've been laid off their job," mm-hmm. you don't really see security professionals. I, saying, I've never I, seen it. Yeah, yeah, you you rarely. If you do see it, it's it's probably something else going on yeah. with that. But you never see that. And it's overall like we have to protect the company. Like yeah. if you get rid of our team, like that means you don't care You're about the vulnerable. data, yeah. you don't care about none of that, and that's gonna cost you more money in the back end versus keeping us. Yeah. So it's just it, it's a need, it's a necessity. <laughs> like software engineers, they get because the product's built already. Yeah, we only need a couple of people to maintain it. Yeah, because typically, you know, like depending on what you're building on stuff like that, like you have like certain companies like Facebook, they probably got like a thousand different products that they're working on at a given time, and whichever one is gonna provide the best, you know, ROI, we're gonna keep that team. Yeah. If you're just, you know, experimental and things like that, we're going to get rid of you. We, yeah. we, we don't see the money, the instant return on it yet. Right now, we're looking for longevity, so we're going to keep this. So, software engineer, and then think about it, being a software engineer, it's really hard to get on teams like that as well, too, because mm-hmm. they want the best of the best. Yeah. So, with security, you know, we, yeah. we here. <laughs> you say that some companies are, is it that some companies are required by law? No, so every, like, so, by... So when I say required by law, it's more so like certain compliances that they have okay. by like, say, for instance, if you're a payment process company, like you're a company like Walmart or something like that, you have to follow this compliant with PCI DSS. Mm-hmm. So which is basically like payment card information that you have to protect. And you need people to be able to protect that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs>